He might be more famous today for his troubles with the Australian tax office, so it's easy to forget that for a brief moment, Paul Hogan was the biggest star on the planet. His successful campaigns for Tourism Australia in the 1980s are yet to be topped in terms of sheer numbers. Yet since Crocodile Dundee first appeared on our screens, he's battled to repeat this success. So when it came time to promote his eighth film, Charlie and Boots, it's hard to imagine they could sell it as anything but a comedy, given that's where his strengths lay. Hey, I was watching that. Come on, Dad. No, turn it back on. No, we're going out. Look at him anyway. There you are. Charlie and Boots is essentially a road movie. Charlie's wife dies, and his son, Boots, forces Charlie to uphold a childhood promise. Do you remember when I was little, you always promised me that one day we'd go and cast a line off the northernmost tip of Australia? No. Well, we're doing it. We're on our way to Cape York. Below the surface, Charlie and Boots is much more than another joke-riddled road movie. Charlie and Boots breaks down the Aussie male's strong and silent stereotype. Have a look at this little ripper. Initially, Charlie and Boots get along superficially. It's a big koala. <laughs> but it's the confrontation of long-running issues that add more depth to their relationship. You know, Therese, I mean, never forgave Mum for that. And I've got to be honest, Ted, I wrestle with it too. Kind of like psychotherapy for dummies. Hogan hasn't lost his trademark dry sarcasm and is well matched with Shane Jacobson's gentle giant persona as Boots. She's a big bruise, isn't she, Dad? Yeah. That's enough to paint the bastard. Unapologetically Australian from start to finish, there's something unique and touching about the easygoing Charlie and Boots. It's not scared to redefine the Aussie bloke while having a few chuckles along the way.